This would be the first case where planes, trains, automobiles, wire, phone, snail mail, as well as a lone fingerprint would convict a man of murder and bank robbery. Welcome to the Finney County Museum. My name is Johnetta Holmes Heberly, and I am the education coordinator here at the museum. When people build a town, some of the first things, especially the women want, is a school, a church, security, and a place to call home. Part of Garden City growing in the early years was to have a city marshal. Newton Earp was one of our first marshals. But as we progressed, the Founding Fathers realized we needed something more, something that would take care of this growing entity called Finney County. One of the first young men that we had as a night watchman, his name was Lee Richardson. Lee came to Garden City, they recruited him, and he proved himself to be a very wise and capable young man in law enforcement. He would then be hired to become the chief of police. His mission was to modernize Garden City's police department. He needed to surround himself with good men, with talent, officers that they had a, a sixth sense about them, that they would go deeper and not just say, oh, well, he's guilty. One of the officers that he hired was Twig Twilliger. And Twig would become very instrumental in our police department because he became a fingerprint expert. And in the 1920s, that would become a very needed thing because he would be responsible for finding that one fingerprint that would change how the world saw crime. Leading up to this time, he and Lee would work on all of that documentation. They would work on making the department the best that it could be when the 1920s came and the Flegel gang robbed Lamar. All of that would come together and Terwilliger and Richardson would be recognized for their efforts. This would be the first case where planes, trains, automobiles, wire, phone, snail mail, as well as a lone fingerprint would convict a man of murder and bank robbery. All of this happened because Lee Richardson saw the need to move forward and to move ahead into the modern times, which would then lead us into later the clutter murder that happened in 1959. Because of the established modern technology and uh, police department, the men and women were able to solve that crime as well. But it all started way back in 1916 when we hired Lee Richardson as a night watchman.